So the first direction. Oh, before we do that, give me your sign. What you just covered. All right. The first thing that we're gonna do. Oh, we could have done that. That's genius. You gotta read it the other way. It bleeds through. You can read it. <laughs> can you guys see this? All right. No, I can't read that. It's backwards. backwards. Yes. No. What is good? And what can be improved? So when you listen to the directions, you need to try to answer those two questions. Whether you write them down or just do it in your head, that's fine. But what is good about the directions and what can be improved? Okay. All right, first one. Get the bread. This one? Get you really the read instructions on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yep. Get the bread, knife, bread, knife, peanut butter, jelly, and a plate. Open the bag of bread and take out the bread. <laughs> Open the peanut butter and the jelly. <laughs> Use the knife. to spread the peanut butter on one of the breads. Just to spread it over. Use the knife to spread the jelly on the other bread. How am I doing? Bad. <laughs> Good thing I'm not going to eat this. Then put the breads together and enjoy. <laughs> All right. There's directions one. What was good and what needs improvement? They forgot to say to take out only two. All right, so there's one. We weren't specific about bread. What else? Is that how much you need a one? Yeah. The pudding of butter and jelly. I mean, peanut butter and jelly. Okay, so we have a problem in this one with forgetting to tell me how much of things, right? Yes, Okay. right. All right, ready for the next one? No, yeah, All right. yeah. All right, Katie, yes. my daughter Katie, she's the swimmer at Calvin. Well, she's not there now. <laughs> Very sad about that. She's gonna do the next one. While I clean this up. <laughs> All right. Okay. Right, Where are we starting you. this one? Put the pony in the love. Okay. It says to get up and go to the cabinet and grab your supplies. They're already here, so we're just going to move down. Open up the bag that the bread is in. Put one hand in. Grab two slices of bread. Put it on the plate. Close the bread bag. Put the 
the bread side by side and open up, grab the jelly Open it up, grab the butter knife, open up the peanut butter, <laughs> put the cap down on the counter, oh, shoot, <laughs> on the floor, <laughs> pick your knife back up. Put it in the peanut butter, scoop it, take it out, put it on the bread, spread it, put the knife down. I don't think I'm going to stand there. <laughs> I don't think you did either. <laughs> All right. What was good about that one? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. You grabbed the two slices of bread. They forgot to take out the bread. Yeah, you forgot to take out the bread. So what was what I liked about it, what I thought was good about it, was the directions were short and there were lots of them. But we missed a few steps. <laughs> so that was mine. I don't think these were quite specific enough. All right, number three. All right, we've got a plate. We've got a knife. Open the okay. peanut butter and jelly. Lay the pieces of your bread flat on the plate. All of them. Take your knife. And get some peanut butter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Spread it on one piece of bread. <laughs> put yourself on guys put your gut put yourself on mute. That, that's what I meant. <laughs> Go wash off your knife or grab another one so you don't mix the two together. Put your knife in the jelly and grab some. Take the knife with the jelly and spread it on the piece of bread. Clean the knife and put it away. I mean, I'm not gonna not eat it. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll let you take over. My job is done. All right, I'm back. So, what went wrong with that one? Everything. Everything. <laughs> I didn't see how many pieces either. Whose voice is that? So I don't know. I just print them off. They don't have names on them. I don't know. So, <laughs> what did you guys think about the word grab? It was a, a bad choice of words. So we need to not try very hard not to use the word grab. Grab is like drink it out of their hand. Yeah, yeah. Grab the jelly. You just need but to. Then we'll work on the then instead of grab. Yeah. So get. what would be a good get? It's the same thing. No, it's not. It has two different meanings. How about 
A, how about a 10 cent word like obtain? No. 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 That word. It's my favorite. Just put it in a list and surprise me. Oh, Katie says just put it in a list of supplies that you need. That could work. That could work. So you don't have to get it from anywhere. You already have collected your supplies that can be part of your directions. Gather your supplies. Is this thing down behind me? Did we turn it on? No. <laughs> Okay, so thinking of your describing words and your direction words and using words that are a little bit more specific about what you want them to do. All right, you ready for number four? Yes. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna start from the beginning. This is really getting quite messy. Where's where's Back of directions. What? All right. <clears throat> this has take. So this is where directions would be good. It says take bread out, take jelly out. Take peanut butter out, take butter knife out, knife out, take plate out. So instead of listing all of those separately, the person could have just said, gather your materials and had a materials list. Does that make sense? All right, so we're gonna do that though. We're gonna have our bread, our jelly, our peanut butter, and our somewhat less sticky knife. Can you put these in the sink? Maybe. All right. And our plate. It says, take two pieces of bread out and put it on the plate. So that's better than the first one that said grab two pieces and then my hand was stuck in it because I'm going to take two pieces and I'm going to put them on my plate. All right, then we're going to grab your butter knife, uh-oh, and put it in the jelly. And grab about an inch and a half of jelly. I have a technical problem. I don't, how, okay, grab your butter knife, let's be here, and then I'm supposed to smear the jelly on my piece of bread. I'm not sure I can get any further. <laughs> I am to grab my butter knife and get about two inches of jelly and smear across the bread again. That's a lot of jelly. So I have a ruler. This is two inches of jelly. That's like half the jar of jelly. I think we have an amounts problem on this one. Okay, I can't get any further because it can't get in the jar. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay. So what would you do to make this one better? Um, actually, to open the jar. How to open the jar. Better yeah. instructions. <laughs> Re rewrite them. So if I open the jar and I grab about an inch and a half of jelly, that's too much jelly. That's way too much jelly. So what would be a better measure than an inch and a half? Put the whole, whole bar of jelly in there. Yeah, just hold, put the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing? I don't think I want the whole thing. But what was that? Better consistency. What do we use when we're measuring food? Do we use a ruler? 
No. 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 Yeah. <laughs> you use a tablespoon. So okay. yeah, you could use a tablespoon or a cup or something like that. Okay. All right. Let's try one more. We've got time for one more. Which one do we want to do? The very last one or this one? Let's do the one that has the ingredients. Okay. This one, let me start from the beginning again. Okay, this one starts. First, you get your ingredients. Two slices of bread. Peanut butter, jelly, plate, and butter knife. Now that you have your ingredients, the second step is to take both the caps off the peanut butter and jelly. Now get one slice of bread and the butter knife. With the butter knife, get some peanut butter and spread it on the slice of bread Um, and now put the slice of bread down on the plate and get your other slice of bread. And with the knife, get some jelly and spread it on the slice of bread. After that, put the butter knife down and pick up the other slice of bread and put the two slices together and you're done. Yay. <laughs> All right. I guess that's the closest one to finishing. <laughs> so what did you like about this one? It's perfect. It's you perfect. Did it right. yeah. It's perfect. I like <laughs> the instruction is it. So I like that the list of ingredients was there. That made it easy. What did else did you guys like? That was the most amazing sandwich I've ever seen. <laughs> so it was better than the rest of the other ones. What was good about it? Are you gonna eat it? Well, it doesn't have nearly as much jelly on it as I would like. Oh. And and it's a double stacker. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little messy. It got, it got, it actually like put it together. They like put it together sandwich. at the end. Mm -hmm. I didn't grab but. anything. It's a little peanut buttery. <laughs> I smell like peanut buttery. <laughs> Alrighty, so for those of you who have been with us, go ahead now. You guys can sign off if you want. We're going to do the same ones again, so you don't really have to watch them again. And you can sign off and then go and take a look at your directions and see, do I have details? But did I include amounts? Should I take the word grab out and put something else like get or take? Or can I list my ingredients so I don't have to grab anything? Stuff like that, okay? All right, so if you were with us for the first half hour, go get yourself.